this is Norn Red 89 here. Happy 4th of July, by the way. It is the 4th. Hope you all have an awesome day. I wanted to bring a new video to you today that was requested by one of my friends who is a newer Strike Force player. Today I wanted to, dis to discuss the top three teams to farm in the beginning early game. And we'll go through all three, some pros and cons, and where you can get these teams. <laughs> So at first, we're going to start with the defenders, who are by far like the easiest farm early game for sure. And that's probably like the best pro about them is they're very easy farmable. And they will, if you take them up high enough to five stars and a decent level, you'll be able to get through pretty much all of hero campaign. And we're talking about the traditional defenders with Punisher, because I think they just work best with him. And they're so easily to get and they're a great balanced team for war you could use them on offense or defense and you can get them in various places luke cage is available in the blitz store he's also one of the first player or one of the first characters you get then we have daredevil who's available in the arena store and jessica jones is on a villain node punisher is on a hero node and then iron fist is in a nexus node now, the major con with them is there's no legendary unlock with them, and they're not really going to help you a great deal in Dark Dimension or anything like that. So late game, they're not the best team or anything like that. Next, we'll go with Sinister Six, which is was a newer team that got released not, not too, too long ago. But the reason they're great is because one of their major pros is you'll get two legendary unlocks with just this one team, Shuri and Invisible Woman. You can use the Sinister Six to unlock both of them. And they're they're pretty easily farmable. You got Green Goblin, who's in a Nexus node. Shocker's on a Cosmic node. And then you have Vulture, who's in an Arena store. And then we have Mysterio, who's in the Raid store. And Rhino, who's in the Blitz store. So if you're going to go for them, I would definitely suggest saving your raid currency and buying Mysterio whenever you get a chance and you see him in there. And their pros, like I said, two legendary unlocks. They're a villain campaign team that will help you get through villain campaign. But And they counter city, city heroes very well. One of their cons, though, is I find less use for them end game. Like, I use them in Blitz once in a while. They're not great in raids, and they're Definitely not going to help you in Dark Dimension, that's for sure. So next we have the Guardians. So that would be like Gamora, Mantis, Groot, Rocket, Drax, Star-Lord, those kind of people. So Gamora, she's pretty good. She's an easy farm too because she's in the Blitz store. But I find her better use on a Brawler team than on the Guardians. I went with Mantis as my first earlier farm for the Guardians because she's better in raids. She heals and sustains the team very well. And then we have, let's see, let's go to Groot, who is an easy farm as well. He has a Nexus node, and he pairs very well with Rocket. You'll want to get them together because they have a, Rocket has an AoE, and with Groot there, it does more damage, and it's just highly valuable. Then we have Rocket, who is available in the raid store, I believe. So if you're going to go for the Guardians, save your raid currency and make sure you buy Rocket up whenever you get a chance because he's definitely a top-tier character. He's pretty good. He just has very low health. If he gets targeted, he's going to get he's going to die pretty quick. Then we have Drax, who is a very solid tank for the team. He has a pre-taunt, and he is available in the arena store. And he's just he's very good on this team. He's flexible, too. You could use him on other teams if you're missing a tank because that pre-taunt always helps out. And then we have Star-Lord, who is the legendary unlock you get for taking the Guardians up to five stars. You're going to get Star-Lord, who in my opinion is easily one of the top ten characters in this game, or at least an honorable mention for sure, because he's valuable in a lot of game modes, and he's flexible to be put on multiple teams. Now, the great benefits to the Guardians, you get the Star-Lord unlock, they're excellent in raids, and they're great for Dark Dimension 1. If you take them, if you choose the Guardians, I would definitely recommend taking them to six stars 
so you could jump into Dark Dimension 1 as fast as possible. Some cons, there's really not too many cons that comes to the Guardians. Like, I mean, they're not great, great in war, and but endgame, you're going to be using them a lot. They're fabulous in Blitz, they're great for Dark Dimension, and they're just an overall really great team. So those are the three teams that I highly suggest as a beginning player you go for. If I had to put them in order, it would be the Guardians, then Sinister Six, and then the Defenders. So those teams are definitely the best to go for when you're first starting out early game. So wanted to drop this video was a suggestion and everything, and I hope it helps out and helps all those early young players get, get going and get their rosters and pumped up. Hope you all enjoy the video. Like I said, enjoy your happy 4th of July, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace out.